Hello, this is Lucas Palmeira from Imaginando, and I'm here for another Frames from Scratch. For today's episode, we're going to visit the studio of a friend of mine called Rui Rodrigues, which is a great drummer and percussionist, and he has this really, really exquisite instrument called a water phone that we're going to record to make our patch. So, let's do it. Okay, so we got the two sounds cut and edited, and the samples that we have are these ones. This is one, and the other one. Okay, so let's open up now frames on a default patch. Let's go to default and let's start by opening the first sample, which I have right here. Okay, water drum, bowed water drums. And here we have it. So we got the nice sounds between this and this. So what I'm going to do is choose a zone where it starts to play like this increase the density quite a bit drop the window so we don't feel the grains changing let's put the size a little bit smaller and now let's modulate the offset so we can get to the other places. Let me just change our LFO to just positive offset so it starts from where the offset is and then just modulates forward. And I can have a notion till where it goes. I want it to go about here. Okay, about this. Okay, let's make the size even smaller. Now let's change the uh, from a sign to a sample and hold, filtered sample and hold. Okay, I've got to drop the cutoff a little bit, so I have a little bit less high frequencies. Okay, now I'm gonna increase the amp spread so the grains don't sound all the same in sub stereo. Drop the randomization a little bit. And now let's randomize a tiny bit the offset, a tiny bit the density and the size. Okay. And now on the second layer, let's turn on an oscillator sign. kind of tuned. I'm going to give it a little bit of delay. I want it one fourth. Increase the high pass, drop the feedback a little bit and spread, give it some spread. Drop the low pass cutoff to maximum. Increase the high pass filter a little bit. On the reverb, I'm not using it yet, but I will. I'm gonna drop the volume of the frames just a little bit. 
Okay. Now let's go to the third layer. On the third layer, I'm gonna make our drums hit. I'm gonna solo it. Okay. Increase the size. I want it to stop, so end. And just one density. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the second layer for now, and I'm going to turn the envelope on the first envelope generator that's modulating the amplitude. So, the, the second, the first layers. Same thing on the second layer. Okay, let's go to the third layer. I think it needs a little bit of um, reverb. Okay, now let's slowly bring these ones. Seems like it's a bit slow. Fifth one, now this is the bass. Now for the third layer, let's the fourth layer, sorry, let's make another another oscillator now with a saw. the drum probably not this one this one this interesting soundscape, harmonic soundscape on it. And I think we have it, guys. And this was it, guys. I really hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. The instrument we recorded today is Definitely not a common instrument, but I think the result was quite nice. And if you liked this tutorial, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel. That means a lot to us. 
and that makes you aware of nice content that we have coming up next on the next week. So I will now say goodbye. <laughs>